A very big hello to my wonderful PU2 champions. Well, this video is for all of you who are worried about your biology examination, which probably might be happening tomorrow or in the coming days. So first of all, one simple question to you guys, that is, can you go back in time and change whatever has happened? We all know the answer. The answer is no, right? So we just have today. Let's make the best use of it. And I'm telling you, my dear children, do not lose your hope. We are all living on hope, my dear children. Who, who has the guarantee that we will wake up tomorrow? So we are in a hope that, yes, tomorrow I will wake up and this is my plan, right? So do not leave that hope. And over here, make the best use of time. And I'm going to help you with that. First of all, I want to tell you, do not focus on the easy chapters, which are of low weightage. Rather, start with the high weightage topics out there, however difficult you, it might have uh, seemed for you previously, it won't be the same today. Because anyway, you have to complete this. Because these are the chapters that would be giving you marks. Okay, and now ma'am, I do not know what to cover in this chapter. I cannot cover the entire chapter. So this video is there, short, short, 65 plus. It has been put today itself, I believe it would be put. So you can go. Each chapter wise chapter, I have put most important concepts and then the questions that have come from the concepts. Ma'am, where do we understand the concepts? Again, for every single chapter, I have made one shot videos. I know it's wrong. I know you do not have time for that, which is why you pick the concept, go to the one shot video, understand it. That's all. And then the question is right there. You please read the question. See how the questions are framed from the same question. You at least have an idea of it. So please do that. You will get the one shot videos in this folder. PU2 biology full, uh, full midterm revision. Over here, you as you can see that uh, this would be the rapid revision where you have the one shot video. And depending on that, you have two marker, three marker questions. But as I said, I know that you do not have time to co complete all the questions, which is why I have complete, uh, what do you call, included the questions in this particular video itself. You can refer to at least those questions okay cool now tip number two previous year question practice as i said over here when you make sure when you're going through the concept you have to practice questions don't pick up any random questions out there this is not the right time to do it Okay, these random questions are not going to come and I'm telling you in PU midterm or you are called PU examination, PU2 examination, you see a lot of concepts being repeated every now and then. So make sure you're making the best use of this and I have put the questions, don't go elsewhere, you don't need it. And please practice diagrams, pick up some a time of yours in this busy schedule of yours and then start drawing the diagrams, whatever diagrams are there. Again, if you do not know, uh, I think I have made a video. Yes, I have made a video and that is this. All important diagrams. So I have uh, told you about the diagrams that you need to draw and practice and the diagram based questions as well. What type of questions could be coming, could be coming from the diagrams? You can watch it. Listen, I am not promoting the video. Okay, I am not here to promote the video. Anyhow, if at all you have a thought like that, this is for helping you out. So lots of children do not know what to refer, where to refer and what's the correct time to refer. So I'm not telling you to refer the two, three marker question video right now, right? Because I know you do not have the time for it. So make the best use of the time that you have, which is why I've given you the short, short videos that you can probably refer to if at all you need. And if you think, no, ma'am, I can study the concepts from elsewhere, you can please do so. But make sure you are having these three things in your head. Okay. I hope that's clear. So molecular base of inheritance, principles of inheritance and variation, super, super important. And then comes the sexual reproduction in flowering plants. Then comes human health and disease, sexual reproduction, both of equal weightage. And you have human reproduction and uh, then evolution. And then my dear children, reproductive health at the end. If at all you have studied human reproduction, it's very easy for you to relate and learn reproductive health as well. That's a small chapter. You can do it. So all the chapters which are there, you need to study. And one more very important tip in the morning when you wake up and you look for revision, don't try to revise the entire thing if you don't have time. Look for the high weightage topics, revise them first. That's your priority. I hope you got that. So that's all. I do not want to increase uh, any, what do you call, take off any bit of your time over here. Okay, wishing you all the best and if at all you think that this video has helped you in any ways, do not forget to hit on the like button and subscribe to the channel and also share it with your friends who are in need. Wishing you all the best. Do not be panicked. Uh, I'm praying for you guys. You will be having the best exam out there. Okay, and please sleep at time. Okay, have enough sleep. Otherwise, tomorrow you won't be able to write the examination. And 
write the answers properly sometimes people go well prepared but do not uh, focus on the answer presentation answer presentation is equally important make difference between charts make the diagrams properly label it properly do not do kitch 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 there write prop write in points not in paragraph all these things are important okay so that's all bye bye take care see you really soon